<laughs> Say hi to the camera. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. You okay? Hello. Oh my god. And welcome to Big Bear View. My name is James. And I'm Mario. And I'm Romeo. That is their names. We're here to review a movie that. A documentary. Romeo suggests for us. Uh, Romeo? Yes? I'm going to let you talk about it. Okay. Um, I will... I will... I will... I will... I will... I will... Okay, I will introduce the title and the summary of it, and I actually want you guys to mostly talk than me. Um, What? Oh, shit. Yes. Okay. The, um, okay. So the 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 movie film I recommended is Dear Zachary: A Letter to a Son About His Father. Uh, it was made in 2008, I believe, uh, and it is about a documentary filmmaker who is uh, best friends with a with a person uh, who this film is roughly about. Um, uh, I believe his. Uh, the char- well, the, he's not a character, he's actually a real life person. Uh, uh, he based his documentary himself about Andrew Bagby, who was his uh, childhood best friend, um, who unfortunately uh, got murdered by his ex girlfriend. And, uh, ba- and oh, yeah, by his crazy ex girlfriend. <laughs> and, uh, and, Basically, uh, he wanted to make this documentary to as a tribute and dedication to his uh, to his long lost best friend. But then uh, later on, while in the making of this film, they found out that what, uh, while the crazy ex w- was put on trial, she is actually pregnant with the la- with basically Andrew's child, and that basically becomes the 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 oil and the works of why he was making this documentary for and he dedicated to uh to his son who is named zachary hence why the title is named uh dear zachary um but yeah uh what do you guys think after you (sighs) oh my god Um. Just talk about it. We're gonna have to talk about your movie selections. Uh huh. You wouldn't want to say that out loud. And we talked about your movie selections. Okay. So, um, this is like one. Have you ever seen the? What's another documentary? Um, yeah, the the kid that was killed over here by his parents. Have you ever seen that story on the Netflix? Uh, no. I don't think I've seen that one. I know what story you're talking you know what you're about. about. Yeah. I thought that was sad. Like, I was like, I just can't watch it like this. This is just wrong. Because it's real people. Uh-huh. And you made me watch this. Uh-huh. I want to kick you nuts at least twice. Okay. Because that's how it felt. <laughs> like a like, kick in the nuts. Like kick in the nuts. Like, God kick me in the nuts once. Uh-huh. And, and, like, I was like, oh, this this might have some fucking light. Purpose. Yeah, light at the end of the rainbow. And then, nope! All over the fuck again. This time, I mean, some still toed boots on. And then, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> with little spikes on it. Uh-huh. And kick me nuts all over again. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, at least it ain't Gone Girl, me. I mean, that's, that would be the worst thing you could do to me again. Um, this is a very sad thing. And there's... It, it, like, what kind of discussion do you want to have about this movie about the failure? I just want to know. I just want to know about system or like judicial no. system. <laughs> well, that this is the this is the judicial system of Canada. It's not. Well, I know. Yeah, they were supposed to hand like, her over to the U.S. and and but you know all this back and forth and loopholes that they kind of went with, and that's what kind of uh, set her free. Like multiple times, which yeah, yeah. which Twice. which is uh, aggravating, 
Because this is a powerhouse of a documentary that really hits you in the core. It's like like what you said, like kicking nuts and a punch in the gut. In in type a type of way. Cause I felt I felt like I don't know, like 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 this is like one of the very few movies that actually make me cry. Really. Because it, it actually like it 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 really has like a powerful story and, and intertwined with this filmmaking because I do uh, look at documentaries as a fil- as a filmmaking art, just using real life events to tell a story, and it did beautifully just tell the story of what was going on in the uh, in this uh, crazy like uh, case that uh, that this was going on with. Uh, with, not not just to Andrew, but to you know uh, Shirley Turner, which is the ex girlfriend that murdered him, and also uh, I I also thought this was a beautiful like 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 characterization of both the parents Kate and uh, uh, I believe I forgot what was the dad's name, but yeah, Kate Kate and David Bagby, they. We're kind of like the heart and soul into this uh, documentary. Yeah, I would say, but, but, I mean, I don't want to talk about it. I really just want to s- just hear your opinions of it and what you guys kind of take got out of it. I guess, you know. Um, just it. Well, I mean, it happens in this country too. Because when you see people that clearly should just be rotting in prison to the day they die, just get the fuck out. It's amazing. I mean, I think ours is more known. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Canada hides all their shit pretty well, like, <laughs> or whatever. I mean, yeah, technically but, it is an um, an American crime that that took place, but but she fled to Canada and. You well, know, I mean. I was like thinking, well, <laughs> I think I even said it like I would have, I would have killed her. I'm sorry, I would have. I would have done what the dad would have done. Well, what he talked yeah, about. Yeah, I would have done that. Oh, uh, spoilers for the for the movie because there is oh, gonna we be. Oh, didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I mean, just, I mean. I'll put spoilers everywhere. I, I kind, I kind of feel like oh everything. <laughs> I mean, I kind of feel like everything that we talked about was kind of like obvious but definitely what what happens in the end is a huge spoiler and that's the one that's that's why i told you guys like not to read anything about the case because i feel like that that's that's what kind of hit me towards the end was that i was not expecting it to happen (laughs) but yeah because it's framed as some evil cat anyways uh it was framed as to the sun, but ends up not being to the sun. You know, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, I, and, that, and that baby was adorable. He was so mm. fucking adorable. He was. And I'm like, and his dad, his dad was a good big goofball. Everyone loved mm. him. Everyone fucking loved him. Mm. And it's like, that's just wrong. It made me watch something sad. <laughs> Like really fucking sad. Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make you watch all the Suicide Squads. Oh my god. And the Zack Snyder cut concurrently <laughs> in a row, and the director's cut with the commentary. <laughs> oh. That's your punishment for this. It's horrible. All I'm horrible. hearing is. How much you hate me, but not not really much about know. the movie. As far as, <laughs> no, no, no. As, as far as documentaries, I think it was it was it was done well. For the subject matter, I mean, it's hard to like. It's a very touchy. But also to the point, at the same point, he didn't want it to be something serious. It was supposed to be more candid than like some documentaries are filmed for. Like, but this was a very personal one. You could tell it was personal, and. At the end, when he's like talking, like 
he's describing something certain. He's crying, and you can hear yeah. it in his voice. And you're like, you know, some like, like there's probably so many times people just start crying because they're like, I really love fuck. this person. And yeah, they're fun. Mm-hmm. Like everyone wanted to be him for him to be the best man. It was funny. Oh, that is cute. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm like, oh. So yeah. yeah. I mean, it was. I liked it. I mean, definitely, if you guys are interested in like, sort of like a crime it, thing, it's kind of like it's, it's kind yeah. of like that. But like at the same time, like it's it, yeah, it's it, definitely you, like, really deep. Like, I it was depressing. It is depressing. Mm. But like, if you if there's some people that like watch those and are fascinated, and if you're really in those that type of documentary, then definitely watch it. Aaron Hernandez, not it. Damn. Gabriel, it was Gabriel, kid over here, the guy killed his friends. Oh. Gabriel. What's his last name? I don't remember. What was that kid's name? He got murdered by his parents. Good lord. Gabriel, what? If he had a documentary on Netflix, he got murdered by his parents. Fernandez? Gabriel Hernandez. Fernandez. Gabriel Fernandez. Like, that documentary was sad, but also just pisses you the fuck off. Mm -hmm. Just pisses you off because like the fact that they let her go in the movie twice mm-hmm. I know <laughs> that Don't stop making the noise you're so pretty <laughs> we like, told Romeo about it last time stop it Romeo okay then. he's not doing um, it like the when they let her go the second time and it's like it's almost like what the fuck are you just doing She's a murderer. She's she's a fucking sociopath. She has no feeling. You could tell, like... She's very uh, manipulative. Yeah. Like, you let this crazy nutbag back on the streets. Twice. Their reasoning did not make sense. It didn't. <laughs> it didn't. And it made me more mad that, like, I don't even know if they... If, um... I know some of them stepped down... Like, mm-hmm. because the, they became activists, and they went after it. Yeah. But, like, at the, yeah. like, I don't know if that person who let her out that second time got any kind of, like, pushback from that. Because she should have. Because it's her fault. I would have blamed her. Like, you allowed her to be out the second time, you should be punished. You should lose your job. You should lose something. Mm-hmm. Because what you did was a gross negligence. You know? It's like... You were so interested, you were so fawning over her, because that's what they said, like, he was, she was, like, being really sweet, and nah, 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 nah. and she just believed her at face value. Yeah. You know, like, if someone's being accused of murder, anything they say has to, like... Especially the, the, when she has the title of a doctor, because she is a yeah. practicing doctor or something, I, and, uh... And they just use that like as a favoritism did. as well. Like, yeah. like the like the judge that was judging her was saying, "Oh, oh!" Like she was telling her by her doctor, you know, like her title, and it's like being like super nice to her. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. It, it, it's like it's like don't oh, do it do, again. Do, do, it's like I mean, okay. Also, though, there's, no, there's never been a doctor in history that's been like evil. Like seriously, Kevorkian. Mm. I mean seriously. It's like, just because they have doctor in their title doesn't mean that she's innocent of anything. It just means she knows how she can get away with or it. Or that she's a mom. They all think that's an excuse. Like, oh, she's a mom. A mom of what? She doesn't even live with her damn kids. The kids don't even know. Oh, yeah. And then she had, her. no, not, not only that, but she had, like, three other kids before yeah. she had. Mm-hmm. And she has no like relationship with She's with her past that. kids, and 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 they all like live with their dads, and even all even like their past relationships, uh, her past relationships She's also say also say the same thing, like the same negative things, and that a lot of people there was like a lot of evidence as to why they should put her away, even like 
there were like how many like eight people that filed restraining orders yeah. on her. I saw. I, I, I was like, and I, they did not take this into consideration, and it's like wow. It it's just like when you see that case, and then like cases are like you're like. But what, what wrong? yeah, what really got me to the core was that when she got out the second time, and the and Kate and David had to had to do like a an agreement to see to see her, and but oh, to, and and to as an excuse, but they have to see her too. Like they they have she has to be with them, and so and she starts becoming very paranoid because. The uh, uh, Zachary, uh, which is Andrew's baby, uh, uh, always like whenever they put him down, she would always run to the grandma, grandma. not to her, and that's what got her fucking paranoid about like, oh, you're telling him things or about me or, or or you're trying to turn him against me, and it's like, you know, it's just like it's it's just so infuriating. As to and and she always tries to find reasons why they shouldn't visit, you know. Hell, even like when she gave birth to Zachary, oh, yeah, they were they they were they weren't allowed to go in the room. Allowed to be in the room. You know, because they they because she said that they were they were the the danger, when it was the opposite. You know, like they tried like they they treated the two uh, grandparents as like. That's like they were the ones who co- who committed a crime and not and, a and the other thing, like uh-huh. what, at the end when they're like we're gonna hold a press conference and they're like oh no there's still like a media whatever they're like oh no shit <laughs> you already took everything from me mm-hmm. I don't give a shit what the fuck you can do now fuck you guys mm-hmm. you know and it's like all those people that they named I mean the psychiatrist. He went to jail or something. Um, the the one from the social worker, whatever the fuck, she stepped down. Mm. And I don't know what happened to the the dumb bitch, the last bitch that fucking let her out. I mean, I hope that she got sanctioned or something, cause like she's responsible for a murder. You know? Yeah. Like she's responsible for a murder of being free, and that's so not. Mm-hmm. Like they. Like, if you're judging and let that happen, you have failed. Hmm. You know, because like, you didn't even... And, and the thing is, like, she was supposed to go back to here, where we would probably have executed her ass. Hmm. You know? That's like, seriously. Why are you going to give her, like, an inch of rope when she'll just hang everyone with it? You know? That yeah. made me so mad, so pissed. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> Oh, All right, Mario. Uh, Mario, what do you think? You hardly said anything. <laughs> yeah, because you two were talking and I didn't want to interrupt. Okay. Cool. Okay. You have the floor now. Um, I thought it was a beautiful movie. It was a great documentary, especially for a kind of touchy subject. I see where you're coming from, and maybe this is just me being jaded as hell in my life, I was kind of like, this isn't really, like, it's sad, but it's not the depressing slog that I thought it was going to be. Mm. I thought it would be, like, I figured a movie like this with the title was kind of like, oh, something bad is going to happen to someone in this movie, so, or someone in this documentary. I'm like, okay, cool. Once we found out who that person was, I was like, that tracks! Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then the whole interaction between Shirley and the parents... After she was basically outed as the person who killed Andrew, a lot of it was like, this also tracks, so what, what's going on? And then I'm like, wow. It's more interesting that their justice system is just as broken as ours. And that's what led to this kid's death, which was really unnecessary. But at the same time, it's like, a lot of this tracks in, like, how society actually works. If you have something that looks to be upon a symbol of status, then you can get away with whatever you want. And if you don't, it's a lot harder for you to kind of challenge what would be considered the rich. Yeah. So I was like, 
a lot of this makes a lot of sense, and the only reason she was able to get away with this is because she had a sense of status about her, and she was had a silver tongue. Like, if she didn't... If she wasn't good at, like, switching up her emotions and kind of playing up the narcissist slash sociopath side, she probably wouldn't be able to get away with half the shit she thought of. Mm. Like, I feel like if she wasn't a white woman, she wouldn't have gotten away with lying to the police multiple times. Yeah. If she wasn't a mother, I, I honestly think that. I think she essentially what we're seeing now is with all these fucking Karens is she did she was basically a Karen back then yeah and that's how she got away with this and I don't think she should have been allowed to be out the first or second time the justice system failed but I see that just about every day so at the same time I'm kind of like a little desensitized to it yeah but regardless I thought it was a beautiful movie I would recommend it to anyone I would not say watch it by yourself um, but at the same time, you could end up being, like, super desensitized to the content, just like I was. So, yeah, it's, like, it's an iffy if you know that movies can make you cry, like The Notebook and things like that. Don't watch it by yourself. <laughs> if mm-hmm. almost nothing will make you cry, by all means, watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you 100%. Um, yeah, um, it, it is a... It is a film that I would... It's like, I want to recommend it because of the filmmaker. Like, the the passion that went to it. And knowing that the best friend of Andrew did this. And, you know, I just want to... You know, all of of the funding that that the movie makes goes into, you know, like, their activists uh, roles to kind of change the, the the judicial system and try to make it better uh, which which is something that uh, Kate and David uh, started and I like want to support that <laughs> you know because watching it is like a support of that but it's also really hard to recommend it because it is such a it makes you feel like shit <laughs> at the same time you I know would say if you're gonna recommend yeah. it just warn them that it's not light content yeah 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 like which is why yeah when i brought it up that's why i, I, I like i gave the warning because it is such a a, a very like powerhouse and a punch in the gut type of movie but it's necessary because it's basically, you know, it's not like fictional, it's reality. It's what happens, what's happening in the world, and, you know, like sometimes good people just get into these unfortunate situations, and then and then the, you know, bad kind of just get away with it, and it's just... Nothing. Yeah. It's very, uh... Yeah, it, it really, it, it really, it really does... Sure. It really does stay with you. This movie just stayed with me for 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 a while, and I'm like thinking about it too, you know. And uh, yeah, like revisiting, I still feel those emotions still. But you know, but it's it it just it, it, you know I can I can't help but like love it too because of just so, how much passion it went behind it, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you could see that the person honestly cared. Oh yeah, you could see that in everyone you talked about it too. Like, I mean, even a uh, so much love, like it's crazy, and it's like having one girl like said that her faith was tested by this because it's like this should why be allowed to happen? Like, ever. this shouldn't have happened. You know, this shouldn't have happened. Mm. Why would God allow that to happen? I mean, seriously. And I think on that level, I have, I'm like, understanding of where it's sometimes this movie's coming from, like, you know. So that's why I was like, wow. I mean, yeah. It also brings out the ugliness in, like, even the good people, like, when David was plotting the, the murder of Shirley 
uh, but even though he doesn't think he's gonna get away with it, but he wanted like uh, like his wife to not be involved so that he could just only get arrested, but still, you know, have like the opportunity to oh well since Shirley's dead and David's getting arrested at least uh, Kate would get Zachary, and like that was like their plot. I would have done it. Yeah, I would have to. I would, yeah, I mean, because because he knew, I mean, if, but if, but if I, if I had a if I, like I knew more or less that the baby isn't going to anyone else, I mean, yeah, I would do like that, I like would, like would, like like, yeah. like it brought it brought that side of him, you know, like that like the situation that he was put in, that that's what he conjured up, like really brought like this ugliness about about the situation that he would think these demented things even even like uh even when andrew died uh when their son died when they found out he was murdered they said that they were going to do the funeral and service and then after that they were going to kill themselves but they didn't because that's that's when they found out that she was pregnant yeah you know because they were like just so fucking hurt about the situation you know it's just really just like gets into that underbelly of of uh, you know of like not 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 just you know people who are des- you know deserving of of like evil people I would I wouldn't wouldn't necessarily say evil but like you know fucked up people out there but also brings out the that type of ugliness out of out of good people that don't deserve for this to happen and it's just that to me was kind of like fascinating, but also very heart heart wrenching, heart wrenching to watch, you know. Hell, even like the narrator who is the documentary in the movie, like when he was stating the facts of how Zachary died, you could hear him like choke up, yeah, like like really bad because he was he was just so like disturbed by it. And like very heartbroken, like you could just hear him choke, and it's like, damn, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's I would have really... killed her. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I have had those thoughts of like for legal reasons. If, this is a joke. Yeah, sure. Anyways. I've had someone that's wronged me enough to where I thought about that, and mm-hmm. but it's like I can see his thought process mm-hmm. because it's wrong. You couldn't understand where they're coming from. It's it's wrong. Mm-hmm. It's wrong to want to take a life, but at the same time, like a person like that, I feel like just doesn't. People like that, that are so willing to, to do what she did, like, with no, oh, what if, who cares what his family, like, didn't know, didn't know thoughts about, like, the people who cared about him, which was a buttload of people, like, every fucking person ever he's ever known, basically, loved him. Mm-hmm. Even his fiance, his ex fiance loved him. Yeah. And wanted the best for him. Like, even, like, she's the one who broke it up. You know? Oh, yeah. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about Andrew. Because uh, it looked like he uh, wanted to be a doctor. Uh, I think he wanted to be, like, a general surgeon or something. And then and then he was too, like... Yeah, he didn't like surgery. He didn't like it. And, uh, and I think he was also very distraught about the breakup with his yeah. ex-fiance that... That's why he kind of like settled with Bad. Shirley, <laughs> which which nobody nobody like had a kind word to say about her. Yeah, Everybody no. thought that she was fucking weird, but and and a lo- even a lot of his friends were like, "You can do so much better." And he, but he was just in this mindset where it's like, "No, I kind of can't. No, this is just where I'm at." He doesn't you know, know it, 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 he the, doesn't know his self worth. Yeah, he doesn't know his worth. And, like, if he knew, like, how many people fucking loved him and cared about him, then, like, mm. he would have not thought that as much. Yeah, maybe. 
And then when he found, like, I, and then when he got to the point where he was, like, he found what he liked to do was becoming a pediatrician or something like that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, I yeah, just when... general medicine. Yeah, like, just general, like, yeah, like, like a family doctor or, or something, because he really loved doing that. Um, it, that was when he decided to, like, break it off with Shirley. He even, like, play, paid for her plane ticket to go back to, like, Canada. And then, freaking, like, 16 hours later, apparently she drove all the way there to him. Yeah. And and even his friend was like, if I paid a ticket to, to, to send that, send one of my exes away... And she and and she drove all the way back here. I'd run out the back door, right? Yes. Yeah, you know. And he didn't like believe it. And yeah, it's like it was it was just unfortunate that he decided to meet her alone in a very like secluded place. And yeah, um, I think what fuck. But he was just like too nice to. Yeah, that's he what was, I was very saying. too nice. They said they. He's like he needed to be a son of a bitch, but he's not a son of a bitch. He's not yeah. a bad guy. He can't be that person. Yeah. So like they were like he should have been an asshole to her like or something like stop fucking calling me or leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. But he this just was not that person, and mm. he just he didn't get out in time. Mm. You know. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Which was kind of, which was too late, you know, when he got way too deep. And I mean, honestly, those 30 phone calls and 30 text messages in a row, which I'm sure they were, I would have been like, so, you can get a strange order. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I hire someone to watch my house <laughs> because I'm going to go live with my mom and dad for a while. For just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so ratings. Yes. Uh, I give this a nine. Yeah, nine. Mm-hmm. I give it a nine. I will also give it a nine. Mm-hmm. That's a solid nine for this movie. Right. Uh, we loved it. Very, very uh, heavy. Very heavy film, but uh, I think if you watch it with friends or family or just whoever don't watch it with kids. yeah and then and then you're yeah you don't, don't watch, watch it with it kids, kids no <laughs> uh definitely watch it. definitely watch it with not anyone much emotionally mature enough to watch something like this yeah definitely watch it just with an 18 plus rating if you're 18 plus please have an adult really oh my god <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't know where people's heads are that's true I mean, yeah, it is a very mature topic, and, and think, I think I, I think you goes. need to have a mature mentality, but also you need to also be mentally prepared to watch something like this. Yes. But yeah, uh, yeah. So. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, I guess we're making a. Uh, mm-hmm. Our next pick will be a audience pick. You said Paul picked something. Yeah, well, our audience picked it, and oh, Paul, <laughs> huh? Yes. No, it's yours. What was it? Uh, I think our, huh? Oh, okay. He texted it to us, but he's right over there. He can just. He can just <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. All right. Our next, our next recommendation will be a fan recommendation, and uh. Uh, it's going to be Bad Education, a 2004 film. Uh, that's going to be our next pick since uh, uh, we asked you guys to comment. What is it on? Uh, it's on HBO Max. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So if, you, so if you guys... <laughs> trying to figure out what this movie is okay. about. All right. So if you guys want to you... get involved in the discussion... Uh, for bad education, please watch it and join us in the next episode. Sweet. Sweet. Thank you. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye.